Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today I will be talking about the careers or jobs that you can have in volleyball. Um, I got this at the video request. Let me see who actually told me that to do this. So this username is Steffi. Thank you for that suggestion. There are a lot of different options actually to be uh, working in volleyball, maybe like after just like after high school or whatever you do but um there actually are a lot of options i know like a lot of people don't know what they could do that is in volleyball or around volleyball but i'm here to tell you well, well let's talk about coaching like that's the first like main job you can have is like being a volleyball coach so that goes from middle school that's called that goes for like assistants um graduate assistants and um head coaches and i'll tell you what a graduate assistant is later but um, there's middle school coaches, high school coaches, and college coaches. Now, when you are in middle school and high school, there are typically two coaches, let's say, so like a head coach and an assistant coach. But when you get to college, there are a whole bunch of coaches. Like, usually there's around four, five, six, seven maybe that are all on the bench that all have different, um, they have different jobs. So, in college, like maybe um there will obviously be the head coach and then there's like an associate head coach which is like the main assist like the head assistant coach essentially like the right hand like the second in line to the head coach basically <laughs> and then we have like just another assistant coach and then we have a graduate assistant coach and a graduate assistant is someone who is still in school so they're getting their master's degree or whatever and they're, and they're in graduate school currently but they're also a coach so that means like a graduate assistant coach there <laughs> and then next you'll have like your athletic trainer um that's not really a coach but sometimes they i mean they're just, they're there all the time so uh, an athletic trainer is also on the coaching staff kind of um what else oh there's also going to be like a recruiting coordinator who is also on the coaching staff and someone who maybe who's in charge of video or um just straight like social media like there's so many options but that's just kind of an array of like different coaching jobs that are out there but now we can talk about club coaching there's like what i mean i think the lowest age of club is like maybe 10s or 11s something like that very very young so there's teams from ranging from 10 years old to 18 years old and there's also men's and women's club volleyball so you can be a coach for any kind of club like I was a coach for um, a club in Atlanta it's called Tsunami Volleyball um, I was a I was a basically a head coach to be honest <laughs> I was basically like a head coach assistant coach of a 11 one team no 11 two eleven three something like that um i was a coach for an 11 11s team and i had to run practice i had to make practice plans i had to um discipline the girls if they were just not doing what i wanted them to do i had to deal with parents i had to deal with the tournament schedule i coached games by myself um i made lineups i made i gave people refing assignments so I have been there, done that. So if y'all have any questions or you, if you want me to make a video about my experience being a club coach, let me know. But yeah, that was my experience. I really, I mean, I loved it. I had a lot of fun. The girls were really nice. So I highly suggest. And also club coaches, like that's something you can do while you're still playing. Like I'm still playing and I coach like on the side. Like it's just like a good like side job to have. And also it's just fun. <laughs> so yes. So the second option um in this career video is that you can become a pro volleyball player now if you're like um if you're wanting to do that you're gonna have to go overseas at this moment now i'm hoping that sometime in the future they will have some kind of professional league in america but the best leagues and the only leagues and to my knowledge and this goes for men's and women's um are in europe or any other country besides america literally so they just don't have it here and i don't know why that is and i really really hope that they do that because volleyball is really huge in this country i i feel so i feel like they would benefit from that but yeah you can be a pro volleyball player and that means that after you're, you're done playing in college you sign a contract with some team let's say you're playing with a team in italy right i know a couple girls who do play um pro volleyball overseas and one girl plays in italy one girl plays in england and one girl plays in like 
Bel Belgium? Yeah, Belgium. So literally like you're done playing your four years in college and then you sign a contract with a team and you just go over there and whatever the contract entails will entail some kind of salary and then some kind of just like basically like what you're obligated to do under that contract and then you will be on that team you'll be over there for the season and then it's up to you if you want to stay there for like the off season or not some people come back to america for the off season but it's up to you and then they just play their professional seasons and then that's it yeah so that's one option and also like i will say that you don't have to be like you don't have to be a d1 player to play pro because some girls i know played um like d3 and ai and went pro so like there's a lot of pro teams out there with different levels so if you really want to play pro after college i feel like you could i also forgot to say for coaching if you're a graduate assistant i think that's something i'm planning on doing hopefully but um you will also be helping like with practices and stuff and like kind of being like a practice player so you can also be a referee um i have also done this just i mean i'm pretty sure everyone's done this if you play club or high school you probably repped before in your life and it sucks <laughs> but if you're like actually like good at it because I'm not good at refing like I just mm, it's just not my thing but um if you actually like it then you can be a ref and they have like so many levels of referees like there's like an I'm pretty sure there's like an association or something like that, that you can join and you can like kind of build your way up slowly through the ranks and like sometimes you can be repping like the top games like the NCAA championship or a team USA event like something like that but usually you'll start um with lower level games like middle school high school and then you'll starting to get up and up and up but yeah you can be a referee and that includes like line judges um the up ref which is a person standing on top of that um stool essentially or the ref stand um and then you can be a down ref which is the one on the ground um you can be a statistician which is just like or a statistician excuse me a statistician um that's a person just keeping like stats like the kill percentage or how many errors that person has or how many digs whatever um you can also be a just like a scorekeeper which means like you're like just flipping the score or you're and putting it on like the scoreboard or you can also be like an actual bookkeeper where like you're actually keeping track of the actual score like the official score on the piece of paper and then you can also be like a libero tracker if you're keeping um track of the libero so there's just so many options and that's all that's actually like a profession that people can't do it's not just something that like, club kids do because they have to <laughs> you can actually turn that into a job if you wanted to do that so but refs get a lot of heat like let me tell you like being a ref is not easy because people will yell at you scream at you so if you're if you have tough skin i say go for it okay so next you can be like a journalist or like a bro like a broadcast journalist so that means like you know like the girls on espn who are like reporting that's something that you can do i'm i'm so interested in that i might end up doing that later in my years maybe i don't know I don't know, we'll see, but, um, yeah, so maybe, like, a sideline reporter, um, or you can be, like, in the booth, you know, like, not on the court, so there's a bunch of different options, but that one's really freaking cool, so broadcast journalism, or being a journalist, or you can also be, like, the type to where, like, you're writing, or you're, like, report, you're reporting on the game by, like, writing up an article about the game and how it went and the scores and all that. Okay, next, you can be, like, a photographer or, like, a videographer, so that means, like, you're, um, in charge of, like, the volleyball content that goes out for that school or for that organization, like, you maybe you're posting on their social media or you're making YouTube videos for them or you're editing content for them that they can put out on their social media pages, so something like that, like, that seems really freaking cool. I also want, kind of want to get into that, but, yeah. It's pretty dope. I did an internship like that this past spring before, like, we went home for and it was really cool so highly suggest that if you're into kind of video editing uh, media okay next you can be like an event organizer so like you can work like with the avp which is like the um beach volleyball association and you can like kind of set up their events and get people seated and get the tournament rolling and work on the brackets and just be like in, in charge of like the crowd or just like being a being like it's kind of like being a well yeah an organizer like you're literally just like 
putting everything together for the event to run smoothly. And by the event, I mean like the tournament or uh, the match or whatever is happening. Okay, lastly, this one's kind of cool. You can be a sports psychologist. Now, these are people who will work with athletes um, about their, just like their mental state or their, and basically kind of study how the psychology of an athlete kind of works. And it can really help like improve your game by like recognizing like what upsets you or what makes you happy while you're playing. And then that can make you produce better. But yeah, you can be a sports psychologist you can like study you can go to school for psychology and like kind of concentrate in like sports management or something like that and it'll be really cool so yes those are my options that I know so far if anyone has any more leave them in the comments because that's all I can really think of but that's it you guys I really hope you like this video and I will see you tomorrow bye